Hi guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to sell videos online with WordPress using ProfilePress. From our WordPress dashboard, we just want to go to ProfilePress on the left. And there we'll see a number of different steps we need to take in order to set up the plugin properly. Mine's already set up, but I'll leave a link in the description to videos where you can learn how to go ahead and set it up yourself. We'll need to go to ProfilePress settings, then payments. And then you'll need to set up your currency settings. Again, links in the description to videos where you can learn how to do this. Now, if we go to payment methods, we'll see a number of different options we can choose from, including Stripe and PayPal. For this example, we'll be using Stripe. So if I click on Stripe, this will take us to a configuration page. And this is where you'll need to set up Stripe. Again, we have links in the description to videos that show you how to use Stripe with ProfilePress. So back on the payment methods page, here's how you set your default payment method. You see Stripe is selected and we're also in test mode for the sake of this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and set up our membership plans. We'll go to the membership plans link on the left hand side. And once we're on this page, we just want to click on add new plan. Now we need to name our plan. Let's call it one time purchase. Now, if you want to, you can add a description as well as a purchase note. Next, we can decide if to create a new user role for each membership plan. We'll keep this as default and we'll also go ahead and set the price to $9.99. All right, so right now the billing frequency is set to monthly, but we need to change it to one time purchase. Now, our next step is to set up our downloads. So the first thing we need to do here is name our file and I'll call this profile press tutorial. And next we'll select our video from our media library. And you can also provide a file URL if that works better for you. If you want, you can also set a download limit. So for example, I'll make this about five. We can also set a download expiry, but I'll skip this. Now let's save our plan. And let's also copy the checkout URL because we're going to be adding it to a button on a page. Let's add a new page. And we'll call it profile press tutorial. And let's quickly add the button. We'll call it something like buy now. Let's add a link. And we can just paste our checkout URL and press enter. All right, now let's publish our page. And we can just open this in a new incognito window. All right, so here's our page in incognito mode, which means we are not logged in. If we click on buy now, we'll be taken to our checkout page. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out this form quickly. Once we're done, we'll click on the pay button. We'll get our confirmation and we'll click on one time purchase. That will ask us to log in. We'll just go ahead and enter our information, click on login. And we'll be taken to our profile. If we click on profile, that will take us to our account where we can scroll down and click on downloads. Okay. So here's the name of our product and here's our download button. All right. Now let's explore a different method where we restrict access to a video catalog so that only pro users can have access. First, just as before, we'll need to create a new membership plan. We'll click on add new plan. We'll call this one pro user. Now again, we'll skip the description and purchase note. Let's make the price for this one about $12 and 99 cents. Let's keep our billing frequency at monthly for a subscription length. We'll keep it as renew indefinitely until member cancels. We don't need a sign up fee, nor do we need a free trial. Um, we don't need to configure downloads either. Let's just go ahead and click on save plan over on the right hand side. All right, let's go ahead and copy our checkout URL. Okay. Let's also add a new page. Let's call it video catalog and let's add a video block. So we'll just add this block and we're going to select a video from our media library. Okay. Now, once it's added, we can go ahead and publish our page. Let's go back. Let's go to content protection. So here we just need to set up a content protection rule. We'll click on add protection rule. Let's name it pro users. Now for the condition, we'll choose selected pages and we'll choose our video catalog. Now who can access the content? We'll select logged in users. Now which membership plan can access the content that will be pro users. And next we'll choose our user roles. So admin, editor, and pro user. Let's customize a global restricted access message. All right. So we're just going to link to our checkout page. Let's go ahead and click on subscribe. Let's remove this link and replace it with our checkout link. The one that we just copied. We'll press enter. 
or click on apply. Now, once we're done, we can click on the save changes button. All right, now let's go to all pages and let's find our video catalog. It's right here. So we're going to open this in a new incognito window. Now we'll see our global restricted access message. We're going to click on subscribe and that will take us to our checkout page. And here, once again, we'll enter our billing and account information. Now, once we're done, we'll click on subscribe. And once we have our order confirmation, we'll scroll down and click on pro user. Okay, now all we need to do here is log in. So we'll just enter our username and password. On our dashboard, we'll click on profile. From here, let's go to our subscription tab. Now this confirms that our subscription is active. And this means that we can now access our video catalog. So in the URL bar, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this uh, portion at the end. And I'm going to type in video hyphen catalog. And that should take us to our video catalog page because we're now technically a pro user and the content protection rule is no longer restricting our access to this page. All right. So this is how you can sell videos online with WordPress using profile press. Thank you for watching and see you next time.